Hi, this is Aaron, VA7AEJ, and uh, I've got another unboxing video for your, uh, my YouTube channel. Um, tonight, I uh, got a package in the mail. It's uh, from RadioWorld.ca, uh, which is one of Canada's um, larger online uh, amateur radio dealers. And uh, for me, this is uh, this is a first. Uh, it's my first ICOM, and uh, the unboxing is for the ICOM IC2300H. It's a uh, VHF only mobile radio. I'm going to actually use it in the shack here, but uh, let's uh, let's have a look at the unboxing. All right, let's get started. Um, nice packaging. Always quite happy with Radio World and their shipping. They uh, don't go flimsy, which is nice, especially when you're getting uh, antenna parts and stuff like that. Odd shaped packages, they always seem to, uh, to do a really good job. So I can see the ICOM label. There we go, IC2300H. Now, uh, what I didn't mention in the intro is I ordered one more thing to go with the radio, and that is the uh, WCS2300, um, which is from RT Systems. It's a uh, programming cable and uh, programming software for this radio. Now, I know everything can be uh, programmed manually, but uh, I'm a bit of a computer guy, and uh, I like to... Uh, have programming software for my radios if possible. It makes it a little bit easier, especially if you're going to put a lot of repeaters and uh, and such into them. So, outer packaging and bubble wrap is gone, and uh, we'll do the uh, the software second. Let's open up the uh, the icon. So, nice easy plain brown box but lots of uh, inner layers of packaging, which I like to see. Nothing's floating around in there. So let's start with this top layer. One thing I uh, really like about the ICOM that was my uh, part of my decision to order it was the, uh, the look and the functionality of this, this hand mic. Um, it was important to me. The uh, IRLP is one of the things that I'm going to want to use uh, this radio for uh, here in the house a lot. And uh, I wanted to make sure that uh, I had all my uh, tones and, and uh, controls on the hand mic. Something that I didn't have on the, uh, on the radio I was using previously, um, which was a, a nice base uh, radio is the uh, Yesu FT847. It's a great satellite radio. It's a great all band, all mode radio, um, but uh, no tones um, either on the radio itself or on the hand mic. You had to order a special hand mic, and uh, it's kind of hard to find these days. So, anyways, um, this is a nice looking hand mic. It's got a good size to it. I've got big hands, and uh, fits quite comfortably in there. Nice tactile click on the uh, the button, so quite happy with that. And like a lot of uh, ICOM radios, the more modern radios, we're getting into the uh, RJ45 style jack, which a uh, little flimsy. I don't like uh, these pins after a while; they get fatigued and uh, and break off, and we all know that from uh, from Ethernet cables. But uh, but it also is a pretty easy connector to replace if you had to. All right, we've got uh, decent heavy gauge power cord. Looks like the uh, the tips have both been uh, pre-soldered. Um, might still chop those off to uh, put on Anderson power poles, but uh, sturdy cable. Inline fuse, everything you want. Got a bag of parts, got a spare fuse, got a uh, clip for the hand mic, and uh, everything we would need for uh, for mounting it. There's some uh, 
yeah, washers, screws, different types of screws. So whether it's going to be mobile or whatever, you've got everything you need. Got the main instruction manual on a uh, CD. Save on uh, chopping down trees. And we've got a quick reference guide, it looks like. Pretty simple instruction sheet. I remember uh, reading it. This is a fairly large single fold out sheet. But uh, that's also nice if you want to just throw that in your glove box and uh, put it with your insurance papers or something and, uh, and always have some quick reference stuff if you're ever on the road and not have to carry around a, uh, a whole manual. And a warranty card from ICOM and a registration card. All right, so let's look at the radio. Now this is one of those radios that they call uh, mil spec. I don't think that necessarily means that the army itself or the military has has checked it out, but it it is supposed to conform to uh, some, if not all, of the standards um, that the military has set forth for uh, for certain levels of uh, robustness. It's a good good solid weight to it. Got a good heat sink on the uh, on the bottom and out the back. Got our antenna connection, our power lead. And there's one more connector there. I'm guessing that's for our external speaker. And on the front, we've got uh, the hand mic. And I'm guessing the uh, programming cable with the RT uh, system software probably is either going to go into the, uh, the, the mic plug or it could possibly go into that uh, speaker jack on the back. It's got some good weight to it. I like that. I'd heard that uh, these two buttons in particular, or dials in particular, had kind of a soft feel to them. But uh, they sure don't feel that way to me. There is a tiny bit of flex to them. But uh, I think that's probably good. They're not, uh, they're not stiff. They've got some nice fluid motion to them. There's some click in the in the tuning dial uh, which is nice especially if you're uh, if you're driving you can kind of feel it uh, feel it turning and all those front buttons too got a nice good tactile feel to them overall nice small but uh, but nice and a mounting bracket we all know what those look like Nothing really fancy here, but uh, some good gauge steel, not really soft and flexible, so uh, robust. I like it. All right, so radio aside, let's have a look at the, uh, the software. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this doesn't come with the ICOM radio. Um, this is uh, an extra, but... Uh, I think nowadays, as the programming of radios gets more and more complicated, uh, especially with the Chinese radios, um, it's always handy to uh, to have programming software if you can get your hands on it. it. Sure makes the job easier. So there's the WCS 2300 Windows cloning software for the IC 2300 version 4 from RT Systems, and uh, they've got a little bit of advertising to go with it, promoting, uh, there's like a quick start guide, install the software and get going. Like the interface of the RT system software, it's uh, pretty simple, it looks very much as if uh, you're just programming this stuff into an Excel spreadsheet or something like that. Um, but simple is, uh, is good, you don't always need uh, tons of bells and whistles and drop down menus and all sorts of other stuff to get confusing. And uh, let's have a look at the cable. So I think I was right. It doesn't go into the hand mic jack at the front. It looks like it goes into the external speaker jack on the back. So they must have double duty uh, functionality on that uh, that jack at the back. So I've got USB on the front, or for, on one end, 
and uh, by the size of it there's probably a uh, USB to serial or some sort of extra um, electronics inside of that and we've got a uh, what looks like a typical stereo mini um, plug on the other end which is going to go into the back of the radio and get things all up and programmed. So there you go. ICOM IC2300H uh, new uh, model in a, a long line of uh, the 2000 series uh, VHF only mobiles from ICOM. I think the 2200 was uh, the model uh, last year and I think the 2300 is uh, is new in, in about the last 12 months or so but uh, don't hold me to that. But I think this is uh, this is well, this is definitely the newest one. I'm not sure by how many uh, months or years it is new but I think it's relatively new. Anyways, thanks for uh, checking the video out. If you're thinking of buying this radio and you're kind of wondering what you got in the box and uh, what the quality of the build looked like and such Hopefully you'll find something interesting in this video that you uh, can use and will help you uh, with your per decision to purchase. And uh, I'll hopefully come back with another video once I get this uh, hooked up and mounted and programmed and uh, give you some additional information on the IC2300H from ICOM. Thank you very much. This is VA7AEJ, Aaron, uh, with another video, 73.